welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Acts 17 verse 11. Now the Bereans were of more noble character than the Thessalonians, for they received the message with great eagerness and examined the scriptures every day to see if what Paul said was true. This was the case of the Bereans. They did not just believe everything that Paul had said. Rather, they checked out the scripture whether it was true or not. And that is the way to go, friends. If we don't want to be deceived, then check it out. There is a way to check out whether it's true or not, and that is true the scripture. Amen. So if someone is preaching, listen, be excited. But friends, meantime, go back to scripture and see whether what they say is true. Because it could just be exciting your spirit, but it's not true. Because in the last days, there will be a lot of deceivers. We are warned by Jesus himself that in the last days, there will be false prophets and false teachers, and they will come to deceive. So for us not to be deceived, we get to know the truth. Because it is the truth that will set us free. Amen. And therefore, friends, every time, go back to the scripture. Now, the better way is read your Bible every day. Amen. Read your Bible. Uh, try to understand what's in scripture so that when you hear someone preach, you will know whether it's in accordance with the scripture or not. Because you already have read it. All right. But if you have not read anything, friends, how could you possibly check what they're saying? There is no way. And therefore, you can easily be deceived. And therefore, friends, let's study scripture every day. Read the Bible. Amen. Make it a habit to read your Bible. Friends, that should also be your daily vitamins. It strengthens you. It encourages you every day. <laughs> Amen. And therefore, friends, very critical then that we, come, we should know the truth. Because unless we know the truth, then we could perish. That's the reason why God had said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. They just don't know what is in the scripture. So when, when deceivers would come, friends, they willingly follow those deceptions. Not knowing, friends, that they are being led into sin. They are being led into the slaughter. They will die in their ignorance. But friends... We get a way to avoid this. And that is, come to know the Bible, study it. When you hear someone preaching, even me, friends, even if I'm preaching, come to know the Bible and check it out. If it's not in there, then let me know. I might have been deceived too. So let me know, and then I can check myself and I correct myself. Amen. Because I might have an idea, friends, that I was right. But actually, maybe... I was wrong. And the way to check is the Bible. So let's study scripture together. Amen. When we study, friends, well, we interact. Amen. Whatever you hear from me, even as I, I encourage you today, friends, well, check it out. If it's not in the Bible, let me know. Amen. Let me know. And then we come to know the truth and the truth will set us free. Amen. And this is my prayer for all of us. Let us not just believe every spirit out there. The Apostle John was always saying that check every spirit so that you shall not be deceived. Amen. When we hear something, we know that, oh, yes, I believe it's true because that's in accordance with the Gospel of John. That's in accordance with the Gospel of Matthew. So you know, friends. Amen. Yes, that was the statement of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I believe See, because you have heard and you have read the scripture. And therefore, friends, let us not be the victim of these deceivers. Rather, let us come to know the truth and live by the truth and the truth will set us free. So this is my prayer for you, brothers, sisters. Let us be like the Bereans, that they would examine the scripture daily. Let's read our Bible every day. Amen. And let's come to know the truth. And let us be set free from deception. May the Lord bless you.
May the Lord keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you and lift up his countenance on you and give you his shalom. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.